Come, Silver. Stay close. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Nothing befitting a child. Nothing befitting any of our world's creatures. We've let a snake replace our leader. She will see the tieflings driven out, or worse. She is first druid in Halcyn's absence. With him caught or dared by goblins, none may gain But more will die if her ritual is finished. I doubt those exiled by the right will survive long outside. Would you? I would give anything to see Halcyn return home. Sylvanas's blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halcyn is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Come, boy. It's all right.
punish someone who wronged you. Wrong me how? Oh, so murder or theft? Killing is good. Calls the weak. But theft would be paid for painfully a thousand times over. Hmm. You like good trash? to know. Then keep looking. Know you have a please your sour just face. Want me re Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I I don't know what's come over these boys. Stop this. We we won't ask again. Careful! Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the Hag, and we ain't seen her since. Hand over heart, I don't know their sister. I will gladly help you all look for her, though. Enough. Where is she? Bollocks! You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye bye now. Feed if you must, Astarian. But give me so much as a hungry look, and I'll drive a stake through your heart. <laughs> I do so very like spicy food. chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. So, you and Lay Zerg. Seems tight. Please don't remind me. But keep your guard up with her. Mm.
my breath. to deal some punishment. Yeah. Blood comes easy these days. Nothing will stand in my way.
fighting. Let's turn someone inside out. Helped. Mm. Must be the tree from the note to Korga. What's that cleft there?
Shadow Heart. Such a grim name for such a beautiful flower. Could you not stare so blatantly in my neck when you say that, please? Oh, but do keep calling her flower. She'll love that. Something. It has to open, surely. It has to do something. Shadowheart's attention is consumed by a strange box that she turns over in her hands. The box is inscribed with glyphs similar to those used by the Githyanki. In an instant, Shadowheart hides the box from view. It's nothing, trust me. Beautiful evening, isn't it? Feel Shadowheart's deep protectiveness of the artifact. Though she doesn't understand it, she believes that her fate is entwined with it somehow. I wish that was true. But I've seen plenty of blood spilled for just those kinds of things. The world will keep on scheming no matter what happens to us. I do, but I won't. Not yet. I'd like some time alone now. We'll talk soon. There you are. I was just thinking about you and that delicious moment we shared the other night. I admit I may have been a little eager, but can you blame me? <laughs> you were my first. In all these years, I've only ever fed on beasts. Drinking the blood of thinking creatures is a different thing entirely. You were delectable. <laughs> and now I can't help but wonder how the others taste. Alas, it doesn't hurt to ponder the question, though. Take Gale, for example. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined like well-aged brandy. But the gift? What in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. Oh. Well, that sounds very appealing. I'm almost convinced. Absolutely. A mere thought experiment. So, in the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? A fine choice. 
She is enticing. Although, the more I think on it, the hungrier I get. I better go find something I can actually get my teeth into. Uh, there's nothing that tasty lurking out in the woods, but I'll make do. Uh, sweet dreams. Soldier. We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice, me by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. She favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. I don't know. You'd think she'd have more important things to do. Devils and their pride. <sighs> no kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. It had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. party what should I do let's hop I can't help feeling will got off lightly the wrath of the hells is second only to the wrath of the heavens. Having a devil in our camp will certainly make things interesting. Never a dull day, is there? burdens one way or the other think of it as tribute the kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion as long as I pay there will be peace but should I ever stop along comes a war I can assure you the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone Oh, nothing would give me greater pleasure. Which of our esteemed company am I stepping in for? Magical. So, shall we?
walks together. Aren't you, gang? Um, sure. In silence. One with the weave. Looking ahead. Why are you here? I sent you to Zevlo. What? Them nose of yours has gone poking in our business. Mistress Ollerton, I can explain. Shh, shh. No need. It couldn't be helped. Quagga, what is the meaning of this? You think yourself quite the spy, don't you? Go on, tell him. A shadow druid? Korga, have you lost your mind? You and Elsin welcome untouchables to your midst. You defile the grove for the sake of harmony. Oladin speaks truth. Who among you disagrees? Who would see this grove in ruin? The choice is made. Korga? Burn the tainted away. Start with the snitch. 
As you say, Oliden. No. You... you twist the teachings. In harmony, we perish. In shadow, we are pure. Korgor's voice breaks and her lips tremble. She heard reason in your words. When the darkest hour fell, it was us that brought light. Sylvanus demands we illuminate shadow, not hide within it. How was I so blind? Careful, Korga. The shadows don't forgive. I belong to the shadows no longer. You've no power over me! You would question my power. Mother Earth, hear me. Grant me your wrath. these mortals be. Now this is my happy place. And Lapidus! Still breathing, despite everything. Shouldn't have made me your enemy. Battle of wits. Some healing for a wizard in need. All right, Karlak, it's go time.
Lystra Rill. Cook with fire, baby. Wrath thought me a danger. Seems I've proven him right. I endangered a child. I betrayed the Seckle's trust. We will stop the right and I will stand trial. My fate lies with Sylvanus. May he have mercy. It began with a letter. There was no messenger, it simply appeared. Oladon came soon after. An army was coming, she said. Goblins, drow, and more still. Legions upon legions. The druids of Cloakwood knew the dangers this would bring. They ordained that all circles cast the right to shelter from the storm. Oladon taught me to harness the Tree Father's power to wall us in. In return, well, you know the rest. I would turn the grove over to them. I won't forget the wounds I've inflicted. I pray Halcyn returns to heal them in full. We will grant them safe harbor until they depart. Meanwhile, help us contend with the goblins. Perhaps we can dissuade them from attacking. You will face <laughs> Sylvanus's justice. If it's an argument you seek, you won't find it here. Whatever the Tree Father's judgment, I will accept it in full. to tell you something, but you can't make any sense of it. Seems this individual doesn't think very highly of you, but few can resist a well-timed gift. Now's your chance to offer something worthwhile.
ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Oh, like hell I won't. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Doesn't even matter if you kill me. I'm chosen by the absolute I am. I'm blessed. Here it comes, you little beast. Lee and Roland would never admit it, but they take an arrow for the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come first. Thanks for cutting in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. My thunder wave will make quick work of any goblin. Just you wait. Those goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. Goblins, druids, this grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Is that everything? I think that's everything. There. Oh, uh, right. Uh, go for the heart. Next time the goblins come, I'll be ready. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. Thanks. I prefer when they smile. How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? I'm told the druids have stopped their damn chanting. What happened? Truly, Ilmata's ashes. I never thought she would actually see reason. Thank you. 
We still have the goblins to contend with, but you've given us time to prepare. I need to ensure my people make the most of it. But here, left over from my soldiering days, it's sparse thanks for what you've done for us. And I'm afraid I have more yet to ask. You've bought us some time here, but the goblins are still massing out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. Pardon? When we get to Baldur's Gate, only in this thing. I'm done. So, Will did the right thing, and it earned him a set of horns. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to us all. What can I do for you? I've already apologized. What more do you want? Unless you're looking for another nibble. Fine. As long as I don't have to go back to animal blood. It's muck. But now that you know what I am, I can fight with all my weapons. Teeth included. <laughs> and if I happen to drain the occasional bandit, what's the harm? As am I. I'm starting to feel a little peckish already.